Welcome to Inspired Citizenship's virtual classroom. Due to COVID-19, the library is closed and we will not be having any in-person classes. However, we would like to offer short civic lessons from our Inspired Citizenship program. Normally, we offer classes three times a week and one-on-one -on -one tutoring for those individuals who are preparing to take their naturaliza naturalization exam. In these videos, we hope to continue the learning process for our residents who are taking their naturalization exam in the near future. So here's an example of a question on the exam. What are two rights for everyone living in the United States? These are possible answers. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, freedom to petition the government, freedom of religion, and the right to bear arms. Another example of a question on the exam, it would be, what is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? You can choose either serve on a jury or vote in a federal election. Did you know that the United States is considered a democratic republic? It is. It's called democratic because the people choose who govern them, and it's called a republic because a government's power is derived by the people. Citizens have a right and responsibility to vote for their government officials, and it is the official's responsibility to share the concerns and ideas within the people in their government. Voting is a way for us to take part in the democratic process. However, to be able to vote, you must be 18 years or older and registered in your respective state. Another way Americans can participate in their democracy is by joining a political party, a community group, or writing to your state representative. Doing so allows us to share our ideas with our peers in our government, which allows us to make positive changes in our community. 